Well, here it is, the tandem buggy. It's a buggy that we designed for children with special needs. Obviously, they travel in the front, and then we have an extra seat or baby carrier at the back here for a younger sibling. The tandem buggy has been a very popular product. It's the only product that we know of that provides proper postural support up at the front, can function entirely normally as a single buggy for school, and the rear attachments can be taken off and added in as required. Let's show you a little bit more. The tandem buggy has a very good tilt range, and the tilt is controlled using this lever up on the handle here. So by steadying the backrest, pull the lever, and you can pull back into the desired position. Release, move. The padded frame covers fit around through this gap here and around the frame and pop her together here. This is to protect any arms that try and fit through this gap here. And to adjust, it's going to be a question of letting more of the strapping through to let this out. And then when tilting the buggy, these can then be retensioned. So if we just move the seat unit back through the tilt, and then this can be tensioned. And this is filling in this area here. A very comfortable feature and just stops those arms from falling out when you don't want them to. The backrest on the seat unit also reclines. The question of undoing this handle here, then releasing the pin and select one of the pre-settings in the backrest recline. And then, so once you set the correct position, wind this in, which sort of secures the backrest properly. The footrest on the tandem buggy is adjustable, so we can adjust the angle or height pressing these buttons in and releasing in the desired position. The footrest piece itself folds up for loading and unloading, and we can fit a variety of angle huggers and foot straps on the footboard to secure the feet. The tandem seat unit has a choice of uh, postural accessories. There's a variety of headrests, this being the extended lateral support headrest, which provides a lot of support around the neck. We have a variety of harnessing, which secures through the backrest here and anchors on the back of the chair. A choice of lateral supports, which are width and height adjustable. The hip rods also are adjustable, move backwards and forwards and in and out on the seat unit. And we can also have a pommel fitted as shown. So there's a variety of support available for your child. At the rear we have additional stabilisers, which can obviously be placed out in a position like this if the weight of the child in the rear seat is beginning to get level with the child in the front seat. So that is just a useful feature there, an accessory which will help prevent any tipping up rearwards. Now we have a look at how the rear seat attaches. The uh, main part which we need for all of the seats is this interface connector which slides into these two receivers and should be secured using these hand wheels either side. There's a fair amount of adjustment backwards and forwards. We'd always suggest that you try and move the seat as far forward as you comfortably can towards the front seat to improve the load stability and the position of the weight. Now the first car seat that we suggest is the Maxi Cozy car seat. This is one that almost everybody seems to have already. So this fix onto the main attachment using these brackets here. The adapter brackets fit into the connector frame like this, push down and then to release, pull up one other side. Now these are helpfully marked up with an R and an L for left and right, but we suggest you actually turn those around so that when you put the car seat on, it's actually orientated facing forwards. We believe that the forward facing position is a safer one and gives you more space for your feet around below the car seat. And to remove the car seat from the frame again, there's a button either side just here, and that will be clear of the adapter brackets. My Child Flow buggy seats also will attach to the rear of the tandem buggy. 
to adapt the pan shaped seat into more of a seat unit and turn the pram base on its side. And on the side, we have a tensioning strap here. If you pull up and connect both here and the base of the seat here. will then help us to create that seat shape we want. And these angle here. The My Child Flow seat unit now fits into the adapter bracket like this. Push down and take it to each side. The angle can now be changed pushing these buttons to so the choice of positioning for the rear child and then to remove the seat pull up and these as before. The body brake is independent on each side, it's just applied by pushing the lever down like this and releasing like this. It's important to locate the brake on both rear wheels. The seat unit is removed by pressing the catch here, the safety catch is pushed away backwards, the front catch is pulled forwards, which releases the seat on its base, tilts it back to remove. And then to refit, make sure the hooks are located against the rear front bar. You push the seat forward to relocate the catch. Make sure that the catch, safety catch is fully clamped against the back of the other catch, and that will indicate that the catch is fully engaged. To fold the frame down, firstly we undo the latches on either side and rotate the handle frame over. Then we move to here to squeeze these two pins together and the frame folds like this. To unfold the frame again, simply lift the handle up and it will locate into place and then move the handle frame back to the desired position and close the latch on both sides. So that's a quick walkthrough on what the tandem buggy can do. So if you're a family that has a disabled child or maybe a younger sibling, this is the sort of uh, solution that can get you out and about and doing things again. It's going to be a little bit bigger than maybe a single buggy on its own, but it really will get you out of the house.